Breaking news this morning, an ongoing investigation into a shots fired incident in Milton last night. We have an update from the sheriff's office this morning. Plus, breaking ground on the Dane County Jail project, what the new facility will offer that the old one didn't. And rain is moving into our area, especially southern Wisconsin. All the full details coming up. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning on a busy Thursday. Thanks for waking up with us. I'm Shane Hogan. And I'm Chris Stanford. We do have some new information on that incident overnight in Milton in just a moment. First, we're going to get to Jacob Montesado. He's tracking some rain that's impacting a lot of southern Wisconsin communities this morning. Hey, Jacob. Yeah, rain is going to continue to move further north and looks like it's already raining in the southern portion of Dane County with some lighter rain up near the Dells, but mostly light at this hour with some heavier rain to the south of us in northern Illinois. But the good news is that the severe weather risk is just about zero for us as the most of the severe weather will stay south, but there are some severe thunderstorm watches in effect for uh, central and southern Illinois. But looking back at our area, we are expected to see the rain continue to spread out across southern Wisconsin. And for a few locations, the rain may not stop throughout the entire afternoon. And there also could be some pockets of heavy rain at times. But the thunderstorm risk does look to be pretty light. As we look at the afternoon forecast, could see some breaks in the rain, but other areas may see that rain continue. By the evening, we'll see kind of one last round of precipitation before it clears out by around sunset for Madison. Eastern Kynes will see it clear out a little bit later and a little bit earlier for you folks off to the west. Our entire area should be dry by around 9 to 10 p.m. As we look at the temperatures, still fairly mild this morning. We're having temperatures in the upper 40s. These temperatures are still above the average highs for this time of year, but these are really not going to go anywhere today. We're going to continue to see those temperatures in the 40s. So if we look at the afternoon forecast, rainfall expected and temperatures once again in the middle 40s. So as we look towards the weekend, it will continue to be cooler. I'll talk more in detail about that coming up a bit later. All right, thank you, Jacob. Now to that brand new information on the breaking news in Milton this morning. In the last 15 minutes, we have learned authorities have made an arrest in a shots fired incident. At about 7.30 last night, multiple agencies responded to a shots fired call at 33 Northside Drive in Milton. Now, initial reports indicated another person was unaccounted for and possibly with the suspect. Officers established a perimeter and requested a SWAT team. The sheriff's uh, hostage negotiations team tried to make contact with the suspect. Just before midnight, law enforcement found that other person safe in a separate unit. After multiple unsuccessful attempts to contact the suspect, SWAT entered the apartment. They searched a storage area, found and arrested the suspect. This investigation is still going on. Uh, they do tell us there is no threat to the public this morning. Look for updates on the Channel 3000 News app. Happening today, a missing three-year-old Elijah Vu's mother and her boyfriend will be back in court. Katrina Bauer and Jesse Vang are charged with child neglect. Neither are charged in Elijah's disappearance. Elijah's been missing now from two rivers for more than three weeks. The reward for any information leading to his discovery is now up to $40,000. If you have any information that could help find Elijah, call the Two Rivers tip line at 844-267-6648. News 3 Now will keep you updated on this case and that situation in Milton as we receive more information. You can get those notifications right to the palm of your hand with the Channel 3000 mobile app. 603 Now, next month, construction for the Dane County Jail Project will begin. To celebrate, community leaders held a ceremonial groundbreaking for the new facility. Now, this comes after the county signed a contract in February with Myron Construction. That company's bid came in at $161 million. Now, while some members of the community are happy to finally see the project come to fruition, others are rejecting the idea that this new jail is a sign of progress. Ten years from today, we will be able to stand back and say, we accomplished something, it made a difference to change the lives of those individuals living in this, si in this city. Standing up there celebrating a new jail makes you a white supremacist. I don't care what color you are. Back in 2022, Dane County Sheriff Calvin Barrett shut down part of the jail after calling the conditions, quote, inhumane and borderline unconstitutional. Now, he says in two and a half years time, people in the jail will have access to medical and mental health beds. More local news now. A school in DeForest is receiving some national recognition. ProCare Therapy says Harvest Intermediate School is one of the most inclusively designed schools in the nation. Its building features special education rooms embedded into general classroom layouts. 
It also includes student design spaces. But staff at Harvest Intermediate say an inclusive environment is about more than just architecture. Brick and mortar is one thing, right? Like we can design spaces, but what you do in that space and how you approach that space, we have a philosophy here, meet kids where they are, and this building helps us do that. The school serves more than 900 fourth, fifth, and sixth graders. Harvest Intermediate says the school's inclusive atmosphere is reflected in its high student engagement levels and test scores. Pope Farm Elementary in Middleton also made the list. To the state capitol now, where a bipartisan bill could expand the history that your kids learn about. Right now, all K-12 public schools are required to teach the history of certain ethnic and racial groups. Right now, that does not include Hmong or Asian Americans. But the Senate signed off on a bill to change that yesterday, sending it to the governor's desk. If and when Governor Evers signs the bill, Hmong and Asian American history will become part of your child's curriculum. Madison Fire is asking Madison College students to apply for a two-year paid internship. They're specifically asking paramedicine or fire science students. Interns will spend 16 hours of their time in incident response and job shadowing, 12 hours in community outreach, and another 12 in classroom instruction. The program starts this June. Interns could end up on a placement list for a firefighter or EMT academy. Applications close March 27th. UW La Crosse has its next chancellor. The Board of Regents announced its members unanimously voted for Dr. James Beebe. Beebe was the provost and vice president for academic affairs at Keene State College in New Hampshire. He will be UWL's 11th leader. Beebe will begin his new role on July 1st. Well, big news from UW-Madison to share this morning. We now know who's going to give the keynote address at spring graduation. That's right, and if you're a Badger hockey fan, you'll probably recognize her. Take a look. Hey, everyone. I'm Megan Duggan, Olympic and world champion, current director of player development with the New Jersey Devils in the NHL, and most importantly, a proud Badger alum. Class of 2024, I can't wait to see you all at Camp Randall at noon on May 11th for the spring commencement. Yeah. What a, All right. What a get there. Duggan played for Wisconsin from 2006 to 2011. She earned her bachelor's degree in biology. And oh, by the way, she also led the U.S. women's hockey team at the 2018 Olympics as the captain, where the team won a gold medal. The commencement ceremony will take place at Camp Randall on May 11th. Yeah, that's a good get. That wow. is a good get. That's going to be a fun Excited speech for to that. watch. Yeah. Excited for that. All right, Jacob, what's going on out there? Well, the forecast for today, rain. But I'll talk you through more details on that coming up a bit later. And ahead in your morning sports after a series of tough losses to end the season, what the Badger men's basketball team needs to do this weekend to keep their season alive. And good morning, everyone. It is March 4th, of course, 3.14. That is Pie Day in the 608. We're at Hubbard Avenue Diner getting ready for the annual news free now this morning pie eating contest. We're going to talk about all things pie coming up next in the 608. Stay tuned. You're watching News 3 Now This Morning, brought to you by Toyota. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. Yeah. Sick. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, yeah. Right now, you can get 3.99% APR for 60 months on a new 2024 Camry, RAV4, or Tundra Hybrid. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. Maine for our large selection, low price deals, and free delivery on top brands like Cafe, Hot Point, and GE Appliances. From sales to install, we do it all. Feel great about your purchases. Feel like family at Brothers Maine. We really need to redo the roof. It's leaking. We are not redoing the roof without getting new gutters. The gutters can wait until I get... Ah, happy spouse, happy house. Exactly. 
Wait. For home improvement guaranteed to make everyone happy, everyone can agree on 1-800-HANSEN's because our durable, energy-efficient, and weather-resistant roofing is guaranteed for life. Get 60% off installation or no interest and no payments for two full years. Call 1-800-HANSEN's. Get it done. My dry eyes made me a burning, stinging five times a day. Makeup smearing drops user. I want another option. That's not another drop. Tirvaya, it's not another drop. It's the first and only nasal spray for dry eye. Tirvaya treats the signs and symptoms of dry eye disease fast by helping your body produce its own real tears. Common side effects include sneezing, cough, and throat and nose irritation. Relying only on drops? Not me. My own real tears are my relief. Ask your eye doctor about Tirvaya. When you download the Pick and Save app, enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons and earn fuel points to save up to a dollar per gallon at the pump. You can always discover more ways to save big every day. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. Hello, I'm Tommy Van Ness from the Tommy Van Ness Realty Group. For over a decade, thousands of people have turned to Tommy Van Ness Realty to buy or sell their home. Because we are more than your realtor, we're your partner. If you list with us and take advantage of our extensive marketing, everyone will know your home is for sale. The Tommy Van Ness Realty team is working hard for you. Call Tommy Van Ness today at 608-395-7375. Why settle for less? Call Tommy Van Ness. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. Moving forward. Welcome back on your Thursday. It's March 14th, or 3.14, better known as Pi Day here in the 608. And we're gearing up for the annual News 3 Now this morning pie eating contest. There's a lot on the line this morning. Uh, yeah. Bragging rights, uh, your shirt, whether or not you get it messy or not. <laughs> and pie for a year. Free pie for a year. Are you kidding me? Josh Breider is once again live at Hubbard Avenue Diner in Middleton this morning to tell us all about what's going on today. Hey, Josh. Oh, we're having some audio problems with Josh there. In this morning. All right. We have our mic there, Mark. I That's think on. we're... This is on. Can All right, Josh, notice? we can hear you. Go this ahead, buddy. Oh, now that they can hear us. Okay, <laughs> look at that. Live TV for us. We're just gearing up for pie. We're already, like, face first into this pie. The contestants are rolling in here. We're going to meet them here in just a moment. But first, uh, I want to talk to Ashley Williams, who Hi. had us back once again for the annual pie eating contest. Ashley, good morning to good you. Good morning, everybody. How oh, my doing? gosh. How are you doing? Um, I'm good. You know, a lot of coffee, a lot of Tupac. I got my pies <laughs> going. <laughs> this so. is one of the busiest days of the year for you. It is. It's a short period to get everything prepped and topped and baked and everything. How many pies uh, are prepared for today? Over a thousand just for the store. That's not even including our um, wholesale accounts that we had this week. So That's incredible. I can see a lot of folks already getting busy, getting ready for those orders because you guys open up at 730 this morning. Yes, we do. So get here. Get your orders. I need that room. <laughs> so our contest is coming up here in a little bit. What mm -hmm. are folks going to be eating this year? So they're going to be eating the cookie dough pie. It's so good. It's creamy. It's cream cheese, whipped cream, cookie dough pieces, edible cookie dough pieces. Um, but the mayor is going to get a peanut butter silk because she's gluten sensitive. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. This is going to be interesting. Speaking of the mayor, she's one of our new faces this morning. Emily Kuhn joining us. Good morning. Good morning. So are you nervous? Are you excited? I'm What's totally going on? excited. I'm going to throw down. So what is going to be your strategy this morning? I looked at last year's and I think I'm just going to go whole wholehearted hands on. Just right into it. Just right into it. Oh my gosh. What do you think when you're, you're going up against some tough competition here? Oh, they look amazing. I'm going to try and keep pace. This is so fun. I mean, for you, obviously, as the mayor, when we're talking about local business, a place like Hubbard, this is a special place for Middleton. It really is. It's it's really well loved in the community. All right. Well, good luck to you. Thank Our you. next new face, Jalen Banks, our weekend anchor. Jalen, good morning, buddy. This is kind of early for you. It is. It is pretty early, but it's all right. Anything for some pie and, you know, being with you guys. So ready to go. What is your strategy this morning? Reckless abandon. <laughs> I don't think that there's any strategy for trying to beat somebody in a food competition, but we're just going to roll with it. Boy, hey, good luck to you. Next, our assignment editor, Jason. Jason, good morning to you. Good morning. I'm pretty excited for this. This is also a, a, a new time for you as well. It is a little earlier than usual. I just have to <laughs> school people earlier than they're used to. So. What is your strategy this morning? Uh, my strategy is to psych these two out. Mm -hmm. and <laughs> 
and let it roll after that. Well, good luck to you. And last, our familiar face here, we got Bubba, our photographer. Bubba, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Hi, everybody. So it's been a few years since you've taken that trophy home. How are you feeling this year? I'm feeling great. You know, I was in Milwaukee yesterday filming the president, and you're going to hail to a new chief this year. Oh, boy. Oh, the fighting boy. chief, the king, Bubba. You know, Will Loper is not here this year. He could not make it. So how are you feeling about that? I mean, Will always just made a mess of his face and not really in his mind. So the true winner will, will, will reign champion this year. <laughs> well, we will see coming up here around 645 when we're talking about the pie eating contest. We're going to see who's going to take home the winning trophy this morning because this is going to be a lot of fun, Ashley. And yes. I mean, you guys are gearing up for just an exciting day. So if people are interested in coming to support Hubbard Avenue Diner today, what do they need to know? Um, so if you're coming to pick your orders up, there'll be a separate line for that. And our hostess will gladly help you get your orders done. Um, we'll have wholesale whole pies um, at a limited amount and then everything else will be slices. And some fun reminders too, if you wear your shirt from previous yes, years. Yes, if you wear this, if you buy this shirt and um, wear your previous pie day shirt, you can get free pie for, I think, a whole year. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. That's a good deal. Yeah, Who doesn't want it. that? Yeah. <laughs> Ashley, thank you so thank much. You. All right, we're about 25 minutes away from this pie eating contest. We're going to see who is going to be this year's champ coming up a little bit later on in News 3 Now this morning. All right, Josh, we're all looking forward to it. Bubba is fired up. Can't wait. All right, can't wait for that. We'll see you guys in a bit. All right, quarter after six, Jacob Montesano is tracking the rain out there. Yeah, today's the kind of day to eat a pie inside as we're going to see plenty of rainfall. So starting out with your bus stop forecast for this morning, it is possible that a few areas north of Madison see dry conditions as you go to school, but much of our area will see rain as you head home. It is possible that there could be some dry pockets, especially south of Madison during the afternoon, but for the most part, widespread rain is expected uh, for much of our area during the day. Now, taking a look at the current radar, still seeing that rain move into southern Wisconsin, and it's still relatively light. Some of that moderate rain kind of creeping into portions of Lafayette County. But for the most part, we're not really seeing anything heavy, but we could see some pockets of heavy rain. Small chance we see an isolated thunderstorm south and east of Madison, but the severe weather will stay south. For a few locations, as I've been talking about, once the rain starts, it may not end until the evening as we see the rain continue throughout the afternoon and evening, but there also could be a few dry spots, especially to the south of Madison during the afternoon. That looks like uh, could be dry at that point, but one more round of precipitation will enter our air or will continue during the evening before it clears out by around 7 to 8 p.m. for much of our area. A little bit earlier for you folks off to the west and our entire area will be dry by around 9 to 10 p.m. Total precipitation could, will be about up to an inch for a lot of the area. Places north of the of the Dells may not see quite as much rain, but some light rain still in the forecast. So we're definitely going to take the rain, but unfortunately, the areas that are seeing the rain for the most part are areas not under the drought, but there is portions of uh, a lot of Sauk County specifically under severe drought. Uh, you folks are going to see a good amount of rain today. Now, as we take a look at the temperature forecast, uh, 50s for Friday and Saturday, kind of lower 50s, but 30s for Sunday and Monday, so it's going to be extra cold those days. And as we get towards uh, the middle portion of next week, the temperatures will rebound a little bit, but still not going to be as warm as the last couple of days. So in general, we are trending a bit cooler over the next 10 days. Cooler compared to what it has been, but still above average for the most part. Uh, average highs for this time of year are now in the middle 40s. We'll definitely will be below that Sunday and Monday, but we'll still be above that Wednesday and Thursday, despite it not getting to the 60s. But it looks like 40s could return towards the end of the weekend as we really aren't expect to get anywhere close to 60. It looks like Saturday will be the closest, but not as warm as the last couple of days. So. It is bound to get back to 60 eventually, but it's not looking like it's going to happen uh, relatively soon. Making it to the NCAA tournament is nothing new to Wisconsin women's hockey. This year is the program's 11th straight appearance. What is new? The Badgers are hosting for the first time since 2019. UW has to wait until tonight to find out if they'll face St. Lawrence or Penn State on Saturday. But that doesn't matter to Mark Johnson's squad because nothing beats this time of year.
this is the best time of the year. Um, every time we step on the ice, we're excited because we know we're one step closer to our ultimate goal. And every practice is exciting and intense. And we just know that every time we step on the ice, it's do or die. And this is the funnest time of year. This is this is what we all all want and are leading up to throughout every single game and every single month leading up to this time. So I just think it's kind of focusing on every single practice, every single skate. For the first time in program history, two of the top three finalists for the Patty Kazmaier Award are Badgers. Kirsten Sims and Casey O'Brien are vying to become the sixth Wisconsin skater to take home the title of women's hockey's top player. Sims leads the nation in points and was the WCHA Player of the Year, while O'Brien is the country's assist leader and is second in points. Speaking of finalists on the men's side, Wisconsin is well represented for the Big Ten's Hockey Postseason Awards. Kyle McClellan, not only a finalist for the Player of the Year, but also Goaltender of the Year. The Badger Netminder has posted seven shutouts and led Wisconsin to 24 wins. Mike Hastings is up for Coach of the Year, and Owen Lindmark is a finalist for Defender of the Year. The Wisconsin men's basketball team tips off the Big Ten tournament this afternoon with hopes of snapping out of their funk. The Badgers have lost eight of their last 11 games, but none of that matters now. The slate is clean. And the goal for Greg Gard and company? Cut down the nets in Minneapolis by winning four games in four days. Starting, of course, with the first one. You have to take care of the one at hand first, and that's always, I think, sometimes gets lost in the discussion as you talk about four games in a row. And you have to take care of day one first. They're just telling us, take in every moment you can. I mean, March is special, especially in the position we're in. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun, but at the same time, once you lose, you're done. The season's done, so um, it's time to lock in, and I think we're going in the right direction at the right time. And Wisconsin will face Maryland, who dominated Rutgers in the first game of the Big Ten tournament. The Badgers beat the Terps by four at the Kohl Center a couple weeks ago in their lone regular season meeting between the two. Tip-off is set for around 1.30. And that's it for sports. Have a great day. All right, Zach, thank you very much. Coming up after the break, we are talking Jeopardy. Do something good with Charlotte Deleste, only on News 3 Now. Rest comfortably with brands you can trust at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Create a unique and stylish room with made-in-the-USA products from companies like Smith Brothers of Burn. Select from a wide variety of sofas at a great price. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Want to instantly look more attractive, years younger, and even healthier? The solution is whiter teeth. Even teeth that are just a little yellow are a problem. They rob your appearance, make you look older, and can hurt your confidence. But you love coffee and tea, maybe even wine or smoking, and all of them stain your teeth and make them yellow. It's time you discovered Power Swabs, the fast five-minute treatments. The first time I tried it, I was so surprised. My husband was so excited that he wanted to run out and get it. He said, what have you been trying? I said, well, I've tried this product called Power Swab. And he said, I can't believe how brilliant, how white your teeth are. So from that point on, I've been sold. One friend was like, did you, your teeth look like really white. Did you do anything to it? And I was like, I did. <laughs> I did power swabs. Power swabs are guaranteed to whiten your teeth up to two shades after the first five-minute application. Better yet, after a week, your teeth will be an average of six shades whiter. Plus, unlike other whitening methods, power swabs will whiten natural teeth and remove stains from veneers, bonding, caps, and crowns. Power swabs are easier on your gums and cause less sensitivity. I've used strips and trays, and they both gave me really sensitive teeth. With the power swabs, I've been using them for a week and nothing. I had hot coffee this morning and ice cream last night and no problems. <laughs> Over 500,000 people have already seen incredible results. It's time to discover what you've been missing. Now it's your turn to get started with power swabs. I like my smile. I like my smile after finishing the power swabs. This is a power swab smile. This is a power swab smile. This is a power swab smile. Call or go online or scan the code on your screen right now for a special offer to receive 50% off. You'll also receive the Power Swab Stain Out Quick Stick absolutely free. And in addition, you will also get free shipping. Order right now and take the Power Swab's five minute challenge. If your teeth aren't a full two shades wider after your first application, simply return it and you'll get your money back. My husband and I finally agreed that we need a new bathtub and shower. So he went right to work on it. 
he's procrastinating. For a new bathtub or shower, just call 1-800-HANSONS. Installed in as little as one day with optional safety features and a no-leak guarantee. Get 60% off installation or no interest, no payments for two full years. Offer ends soon. Call 1-800-HANSONS. Get it done. Let the design team at Wanaki Furniture ETC help you find your inspiration and transform your room. Every style, every budget, our creativity, passion, and expertise will help you design your dream space. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. All right, we're back sharing Linda's morning of a fiery sky. Man, that's a pretty color, isn't it? Yeah, that's very nice. Love the picture, Linda. Thanks for sharing it with us. You want to send one? Uh, use the hashtag MyNews3Morning when you post on social media. We'll find it. Shane, we're talking about Jeopardy this morning. Yeah, huh? we are. One of the all-time great shows out there because a Green Bay native is on the Tournament of Champions finale, the last three. Ben Chan, he's a professor at St. Norbert College, and he's returned to the Alex Trebek stage for the Tournament of Champions after winning several games earlier this year. He won the first game in the best of seven that aired Tuesday. I haven't been able to catch up and watch Wednesday's episode, so uh, I'm not sure right, what no the was. Well, yeah, no spoilers there. He'll, of course, be back on today. So congratulations to him. Best of luck. Love to see a, a Wisconsin right. native bring home the win. We're rooting for you, Professor Chan. We are. Representing a great state. <laughs> and some more Jeopardy news as well. The game show is announcing a new invitational tournament that will happen after Tournament of Champions. The show invited both popular contestants from the past and some who placed in last year's Masters Tournament. So you'll see some of your favorites uh, coming up after the Tournament of Champions. Are you, do you watch Jeopardy? You tune in or where are you at? I don't. I have yeah. seen it. <laughs> I, will, <laughs> I will say I think you would do so well I, on Jeopardy, Shane. I want everyone out there to just take that in <laughs> is the best compliment he's ever I given I think Shane me. is a very smart man. Oh, my goodness. I do. Likewise. All right. Thanks. Let's check in with another smart guy. Yeah. Jacob Montesano. Oh, thank you, catch, guys. <laughs> Temperatures will be cooler, especially to start next week going forward. We're back right after this. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Earn a 25 cent hy vee fuel saver for every $40 you spend this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's a 25 cent fuel saver for every $40. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday only at hy vee my husband and I finally agreed that we need a new bathtub and shower. So he went right to work on handling the project. That's him going online researching bathtub and shower installers. And there he is, calling a few places to get an estimate. I think he's procrastinating. Call 1-800-HANSONS for a new shower or bathtub you'll love. Installed in as little as one day. It's okay. I called 1-800-HANSONS. We custom fit your new bathtub or shower into your existing space for a fast, convenient, and hassle-free installation with any safety features your family needs. Safety bars, seats, and more with a no-leak guarantee. Oh, hey, I'm going to call 1-800-HANSONS. That's great, hon. Get 60% off installation or no interest, no payments for two full years. Offer ends soon. Call 1-800-HANSONS. Get it done. Our record high energy costs putting a squeeze on your fixed or limited incomes. While you haven't asked for it, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy assistance providers are here to help. No Wisconsin resident should ever have to face the challenge of living without heat or power or face homelessness. For a hand up, apply today. The Planet Fitness Black Card is packed with perks, not like other gyms. Hi, can I bring my friend to work out? No. Well, um, is my membership good at other locations? No. 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 No? Yeah, no. No what? No. Okay. This 
is better. For just $1 down, you can bring a friend for free anytime. Work out at any of our 2,500 plus locations and enjoy access to the Black Card Spa, the Planet Fitness Black Card. Join now for $1 down, $24.99 a month. Cancel anytime. Deal ends Friday, March 15th. Catch the Bucks on broadcast TV when they clash with the Celtics on your new local home for select Bucks games. Watch as Giannis and the Bucks show up to Boston to tangle with one of the top teams in the league in an Eastern Conference showdown. Don't miss it when the Greek freak gets unleashed. Bucks, Celtics, on your new local home for select Milwaukee Bucks games. Wednesday at 6.30 on WISC TV3. Earn a 25 cent High V fuel saver for every $40 you spend this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's a 25 cent fuel saver for every $40. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday only at High V. Right now, a heavy police presence in Rock County. What police are saying about the incident. Plus, a first of its kind birth control pill when it will hit shelves in Wisconsin. And here's your first look outside this morning. After some warm weather, looks like the rain and cold are on their way, Jacob. Yeah, it's going to be raining for much of the day for a lot of our area. I'll take you through the forecast, though, coming up. Good Thursday morning, everyone. It's a busy Thursday morning. Yes, it is. At that, we appreciate you tuning in. I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Shane Hogan. Yes, we've got some breaking news that we will provide updates on in just a bit. But first, we're going to get a check on our forecast. We've got the rain coming in as we speak, Jacob. Yeah, rain across the far southern portion of the state right now. Still mostly light to moderate. A few pockets of heavier rain in northern Illinois and some lighter rain uh, for the northern portion of our area. Zooming further out, you can see some of that heavier rain right now to the south of Wisconsin. But the good news is that the severe weather risk is just about zero as most of the severe weather will stay to the south of us. But there are some severe thunderstorm watches right now across Illinois. Now, looking at the forecast for today, for some locations, once the rain starts, Starts and may not stop throughout the entire afternoon and evening. And there could be some pockets of heavier rain, especially in the late morning and early afternoon. But southern counties could see a break from the rain during the afternoon hours as Monroe, Janesville, and near the Illinois border. The majority of the rain that you folks will see will be during the morning. And then during the afternoon, it'll impact the central and kind of northern parts of our area, but the far northern locations won't see quite as much and the precipitation will clear out uh, during the evening. It should be dry by around seven or eight to nine p.m. and especially dry as we get closer to midnight tonight. Now looking at the temperatures, we are still in the upper 40s, so very mild for this time of the morning, but the temperatures aren't really going to go anywhere. There are a few locations in the 50s and if anything, the temperatures may drop a little bit during the afternoon. So looking at the forecast for today, 40s, and plenty of rain, as I mentioned. So not much is going to change throughout the day. We're just going to continue to see that light rain. But I'll talk more in detail about your weekend forecast coming up a bit later. All right, Jacob, thank you. Now to brand new information on the breaking news in Milton this morning. In the last hour, we've learned authorities made an arrest in a shots fired incident. At about 7.30 last night, multiple agencies responded to a shots fired call at 33 Northside Drive in Milton. Initial reports indicated another person was unaccounted for and possibly with the suspect. Officers established a perimeter and requested a SWAT team as well. The sheriff's hostage negotiations team tried to make contact with the suspect. Just before midnight, law enforcement found that other person safe in a separate unit. After multiple unsuccessful attempts to contact the suspect, SWAT entered the apartment, searched a storage area, found and then arrested the suspect. The investigation into the incident is still ongoing, though, but authorities tell us there is no threat to the public. As soon as we get more updates on this investigation, we will send them out to our free mobile app. Just download the Channel 3000 mobile app wherever you get yours. Well, this morning, President Biden is waking up in Milwaukee. At a campaign event yesterday, he highlighted how his infrastructure plan was helping the people of Wisconsin. The president's trip coincides with a $3 billion investment into cities like Milwaukee. The goal of that money is to jumpstart communities that were torn apart when the country built its interstate system. The Biden administration says the investment is meant to make cities better and safer. Day 6th Street is a wide road without a, without a protected bike path, bike lanes or bus lanes, with limited access to the green space. Speeding and reckless driving resulting in crashes five times that of the city's average. All of this looking people, locking people out of opportunities and leaving them more isolated from the social and economic life of the rest of the city. 
President Biden also complimented Senator Tammy Baldwin for her work on the infrastructure bills and took some jabs at his political rival, Donald Trump. The president will be headed to Saginaw, Michigan today for another campaign stop. Republicans, meantime, responded. Uh, the head of the Republican National Committee released a statement that said, in part, Joe Biden just proposed $7.3 trillion in wasteful spending and $4.9 trillion in tax hikes on the backs of Wisconsin families. So his attempt to save face for Bidenomics failures is laughable. Meanwhile, in Georgia, former President Trump is facing six fewer charges in the Fulton County election interference case. Judge Scott McAfee threw out charges that accused former President Trump and several co-defendants of pressuring public officers to violate their oaths as part of the effort to overturn the 2020 election. McAfee said District Attorney Fannie Willis and her prosecutors were not specific enough about the violations, writing, the lack of detail concerning an essential legal element is fatal. The case still is ongoing, though, and Trump is facing several charges that could include jail time. Time is 634. For the first time, Americans will be able to access the birth control pill without a prescription. A new over-the-counter contraceptive pill could start hitting pharmacy shelves as soon as this month. Our Braden Ross is working for you this morning to find out more. Since its creation, if you wanted to take the birth control pill, you had to check in with a doctor first. But now for the first time ever, you'll be able to walk out of a pharmacy with the pill without even having a prescription. It's probably the most revolutionary development of the 20th century. Access to the pill has changed the lives of millions of women across the world. This method is the safest method devised to this date. But in the United States, it's always been strictly regulated. Until 1972, it was only available to married women. And even then, they still had to get a prescription from a doctor to get their hands on it. That's been the case for the last 60 years since the pill first hit the market. Until now. This is another step towards increasing access and reducing barriers to a safe and effective contraception. In July, the FDA approved Opil, the first over-the-counter birth control pill in the U.S. There are significant barriers to healthcare access in the state of Wisconsin, whether that is cost, whether that is geography, um, whether that is you know being able to take time off of work to go to the doctor. It's expected to start hitting shelves across the country this month. Here's what you need to know as it does. Opil is a progestin-only daily contraceptive that works similar to most prescription versions of the pill. It's most effective when taken at the same time every day. A one-month supply will run you $19.99. You'll also be able to snag a three-month supply for around 50 bucks. And whether or not insurance will cover the pill could change based on your coverage. I asked around at several pharmacies in town, including this one, to see if they have this pill in stock yet. I couldn't find any that do, but most said they're planning to order it when they can. Reporting in Madison, Braden Ross, News 3 Now. Studies on Opil show it is 98% effective at stopping pregnancies when used correctly. That puts it on par with prescription birth control's 99% effectiveness. Well, if you were watching The Amazing Race last night on WIC-TV, you might have seen a couple of familiar faces. Yeah, that's right. Sunny Pulver and Busy Smith are a pair of firefighting moms from southern Wisconsin. They are competing <laughs> for the $1 million prize racing around the world. The two met at the Fire Academy in Madison and instantly forged a bond. The two decided to sign up for the Amazing Race and were chosen for the 36th season. Sonny works as a Madison firefighter. Busy, who is a New Berlin firefighter, is on medical leave after a battle with breast cancer, although we are very happy to share that she is cancer-free. Oh, that is good news. We're rooting for them. Yeah, good luck to them. Hope they can bring home the win. All right, let's check in with uh, Jacob Montesano now. He is tracking some rain that's moving into the area. Hey there, Jacob. Yeah, and the rain is going to really last all day, but cooler temperatures will follow the precipitation. I'll talk about that more coming up after the break. And here it is this morning. We have the Pie Day Eating Contest Trophy as our News 3 Now annual tradition is about to get underway today. The contestants are lined up and we're ready for some cookie dough pie. We're going to see who's going to take home the trophy coming up next live in the 608. Hey, lady, when is the baby coming? <laughs> very, very soon. Dad, what about yours? You're gonna, yeah, okay, well. Hi. 
Get solar and get saving with Olson Solar Energy in the Madison area. When you're talking to someone and you call someone at Olson Solar, it's not someone in Utah, it's not someone in California, it is someone local right here. By doing that, you know, we control the entire process. So we control the project management, we control the design, we control the installation, the electric, the hookup, permitting, and, and that really sets us apart. Stop into our location near you or give us a call and ask us about our Earth Day promo. Here's your parachute. Packed it myself. Certain it's okay? Mm-hmm. Are you foreign print certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of congratulating coworkers or saying thank you for being a customer with promotional products from 4imprint. Our expert team is dedicated to making your satisfaction a certainty. Packed it myself. Land the perfect products at 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says... This one is for real. This one is for real. And what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. Try it today for only $14.95, plus get free shipping. Visit plexidermtrial.com or call the number on your screen. We forge steel bars that hold up bridges, propel ships, and send rockets into space. But for years, China's been lowballing their prices, so it's been tough to compete. We can't let China steal Wisconsin jobs, so I wrote a law to require American infrastructure projects use American iron and steel. Tammy Baldwin got President Trump to sign her Made in America bill. And then she got President Biden to make it permanent. I'm Tammy Baldwin. I approve this message. Tammy Baldwin has our back. Tonight at 10, on the 19th anniversary of the destructive fire that burned St. Raphael's Cathedral, I'm bringing you a look at how the Madison Catholic community is moving forward with its new mother church. This is a big deal. Tonight on News 3 Now at 10. Campaign 2024 is heating up in Battleground, Wisconsin, and News 3 Now is bringing you complete team coverage throughout this crucial election year. From the candidates to the issues that matter to you, the voters. Campaign 2024 on News 3 Now, moving forward. You're watching News 3 Now this morning, moving forward. Welcome back on your Thursday. It's March 14th, and that means 3.14, better known as Pi Day, here in the 608. And boy, we are here. It is time for the annual pie eating contest. Josh Breider is live at Hubbard Avenue Diner in Middleton this morning, uh, standing by with the contestants and the owner of Hubbard Avenue Diner in Middleton. Take it away, Josh. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, it's the moment we have been waiting for this morning. Ashley Williams with us once again. Ashley, are you ready for this? Yes, I am. <laughs> this is always such a fun moment. The contestants are ready. We're trying to keep some of them from digging in a little early, including Jalen. He's one of our newbies this year. He's ready to eat. So, Ashley, you know, this is such a special day for you guys here at Hubbard Avenue Diner. And you talk about community. This is a big deal. Yes, Hubbard's been part of this community um, for a long time. And we appreciate our customers. And even if you're not our customer, if you're our neighbor, we appreciate you. So. So let's talk about this year's pie choice for the eating contest. Yeah. It looks a little heavy to me. What do you think? Um, it's not that heavy because <laughs> I like cookie dough. Um, but I would not eat the toppings first. I would just focus on the crust. Oh. Uh, not the crust, but the filling. A little bit of advice yeah. there. A little bit of advice there. So, of course, we have the contestants. I'm going to go right down the line here. Middleton Mayor Emily Kuhn joining us. Our weekend anchor, Jalen. Our News 3 Now assignment editor, Jason. Our photographer, Bubba. And P.O. from Delta Beer Lab. Or should we call you Pio today? I don't know. I think I... Well, are you ready for this? I'm, re I'm ready to go. So, you are partnering with Hubbard Avenue Diner again with Delta Beer Lab. And what is this year's beer of choice? This year, we're doing caramel apple pie. Um, so it's a, a semi-sweet amber ale uh, with uh, actual cider and caramel added toward the end to flavor it up. Um, so it goes down easy. Oh my gosh. You want to try it? Yeah, go ahead and pour it in there. So this is so awesome for you guys. Obviously, this is a special day for Hubbard Avenue Diner, but for you to partner with other local businesses, I mean, that's community, right? Absolutely. Um, and this isn't just this is just the beginning for uh, this spring. 
Um, we also have the uh, Haze Against Hunger beer coming out in April, uh, which uh, Food Fight works with Second Harvest Food Pantry uh, to support their, their good works as well. So we're providing the beer for that. And that's going to be here on the corner. I'm going to give this a try because this looks really good. Ooh, that's fantastic. And I think that's a little easier to put down than half of these pies. So we are ge getting ready. How this is going to work is our contestants are going to get one minute to eat as much as they can. And Ashley, you're going to help me decide the winner. Sound good? Yes. All right. Here we go, guys. In three, two, and one. We're off to the races. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. We are not wasting any time here, too. 60 seconds on the clock. We are all the way in here for the annual Pie Day Eating Contest here in 2024. Ashley, what are we looking like so far here? Um, well, he's always a champ. <laughs> I, I'm, I just can't believe how fast they're eating the pie. I love pie, but I couldn't eat it that fast. I this, need a fork. This is so much fun. And, of course, one of our newbies here, Middleton Mayor's own Emily Kuhn, joining us. And Emily's going right into it so far. Look at this. She had some advice from her kids trying to get into that pie right away. This is looking mighty interesting. We got 21 seconds left on the clock. Uh -oh. Ashley, what are we thinking? I think the mayor and P.O. is good. <laughs> I got to check everyone's <laughs> All right, guys, we're down to 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, last 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. There it is. We are done. Okay. Put those plates down. Let me check. Ashley's checking. We're checking those pies. Boy, some of them look like they're intact. Some of them look like they are not. <laughs> Yeah, we are definitely missing Will Loper this year, unable to make it here this morning. I have to give it to the mayor. <laughs> oh, the mayor! The mayor! Thank you. Oh, my gosh. That's so exciting. Mayor, how does it feel? Amazing. I'm supporting local businesses. Please come down and have pie today. Oh, my gosh. This is great. Did you ever think you'd be doing live TV with pie all over your face? Not at all, but this is wonderful. <laughs> Thanks to everyone here. What do you think your family's thinking at home right now? So proud. They want their own pie. <laughs> well, we are so excited that all of you guys were here again for this moment. Again, this is such a great day. Ashley, if people are interested in coming out and supporting Hubbard Avenue Diner, what do they need to know today? Um, so we're going to have all our pie flavors ready for you to pick up. Um, we'll have limited, sli uh, limited whole pies for sale. We'll have slices. We'll also have um, pie cookies, pie-shaped frosted sugar cookies. Um, and if you buy this T-shirt um, or wear any of our old Pie Day T-shirts, you can get free pie for you. That's wonderful. And you guys open up at 7.30 this morning. Yes, we do. Oh, it's going to be a great day. All right, Mayor, here you go. Oh, my Here's God. the trophy. I know you're going to get it all day. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> Thank you to all the contestants. This is so much fun here, guys. Chris and Shane, what are you thinking back in studio? This is always so much fun. Oh, what a wonderful competition. Good competition. Uh, great this competition. Year. I say upset alert. The mayor getting it done. <laughs> through. Congratulations. They're saying yeah, upset the alert bad in the, back in the studio. <laughs> that was the <some laughs> first competition. Mayor taking down all the guys this morning. Love it. Love it. Congratulations. Nice. Josh, great job. Looks like a lot of fun. All right, Josh is always looking for inspiration to share in the 608. Uh, you can send him a story idea, email him, or find him on social media. All right, Jacob's tracking some rain. Jacob, what should we know today? Uh, we're going to see plenty of rain, but I have to comment. I, that looks like a lot of fun, but I worry about how my stomach would react to that about, you know, just 20 minutes later. Now, I also thought the pie eating contest, they don't use your hands. Did we change it up this year or something? Or uh, yeah, that's a good question. Oh, whatever. I mean, we'll it, look into it. It. It, still, it still looks like a ton of fun regardless. All right, let's get to the forecast now. Here's a look at the three things you need to know. Rain for most of today, chilly temperatures in general going forward, but it's going to be even colder as we head towards the beginning of next week. So starting out with your bus stop forecast, plenty of rain today. A few areas north of Madison may be dry on your way to school, but on the way, to, on the way home to school, much of our area will see rain. It looks like by the time we get to the afternoon, though, as you're heading home, it's possible that some of the southern counties may be dry as that rain will kind of have creeped up into the central and northern portions of our area. So here's a look at the current radar. Still seeing that rain move into our area. Fairly light to moderate. Could see some pockets of heavy rain develop, but we're not expected to see a lot of thunderstorms, and we have almost a 0% chance of severe weather. So as we look at the forecast through the afternoon, we're going to continue to see that rainfall. Again, some heavier rain is possible as we head into the late morning and early afternoon. Some of that rain may continue into the evening as well. Western counties 
should be done with the rain by around five to six. Uh, the central portion of our area around seven to eight, kind of around eight to four areas east, but our entire area will be dry by the time we get to around midnight. So looking at the total precipitation forecast, we'll see up to an inch for a lot of our area, three quarters of an inch to up to an inch, maybe isolated amounts higher, but overall will be around half inch to a full inch and areas north of the Dells likely aren't going to see uh, quite as much precipitation, but still some light rain expected for Camp Douglas and Watoma. So looking at the forecast tomorrow, we are expect to see sunshine, but temperatures won't be as warm as uh, yesterday. We'll have highs in the upper 40s to lower 50s, so still a little bit above average for this time of the year, and that's going to continue for Saturday, but Sunday will, dra will drop back below average. Also, I want to point out Saturday is going to be pretty windy, also breezy on Sunday, but not as windy as it will be on Saturday. Day. Sunday though will be cooler as we see those temperatures in the upper 30s. So if you have any outdoor plans for St. Patrick's Day, definitely prepare to bundle up as it's going to be a chilly one. Yeah. That's the case for Monday as well. And as we get towards the middle of next week, we are going to see the temperatures rebound a little bit, but still uh, not as warm as it was yesterday. All right, Jacob, thank you. Coming up in the morning sprint, today's top headlines. You need to start your morning. We're back after this. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. It's A1 Furniture's Truckload Mattress Blowout. Queen Luxury Fur Mattress, only $299. Queen Euro Top, $399. Queen Jumbo Plush or Firm, just $499. All sizes available during this once-a-year mattress event, only at Madison's locally owned A1 Furniture. Get a fresh coat in one coat and save big money at Menards. Give your room a grand finish with Pittsburgh Grand Distinction Interior Paint. It's a premium paint and primer with excellent durability and comes in over 701 coat colors. A gallon is $31.99 after rebate. Give your walls the best finish with Paramount Interior Paint. It provides the most advanced protection, true one coat coverage, and excellent scrubbability. A gallon of flat is only $39.99 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. This is Kathy. She's about to see her dentist. She's afraid. Not because of the drill, but because of the bill. A big bill. But Kathy doesn't need to be afraid, and neither do you. Thanks to affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company. It's easy to get this coverage. Don't believe me? Call or go online for all the details. You could even have this free information kit. This isn't a discount plan or preventive-only coverage. This is real dental insurance. It helps pay for over 400 procedures. That's a lot. I'm talking cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures. Bottom line, you'll have help paying for routine care and expensive major work. But if you want deductibles, forget it. There aren't any. No annual maximum either. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Stop fearing the big bill. Start saving at the dentist. Call now or go to sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Gruber Law Office. One call, that's all. 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 Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. One call, that's all. As the seasons change, it's so refreshing. And at Madison Lighting, they're following the trends in lighting and home decor. Their lighting experts help me bring my style to light. A fresh start with lighting for indoors and out at Madison Lighting. Catch the Bucks on broadcast TV when they clash with the Celtics on your new local home for select Bucks games. Watch as Giannis and the Bucks ship up to Boston to tangle with one of the top teams in the league in an Eastern Conference showdown. Don't miss it when the Greek freak gets unleashed. Bucks, Celtics, on your new local home for select Milwaukee Bucks games. Wednesday at 6.30 on WISC TV3. Get instant cash back at A1 Furniture. Save $50 off every $500 you spend, plus incredible in-store only deals. Your choice, two-piece sofa in love seat or sectional, just $10.99, and get the recliner free. Only at Madison's locally owned A1 Furniture. It's Girl Scout cookie time. 6.52, time for the morning sprint. We start with breaking news out of Rock County this morning. The sheriff's office says a person is in custody after a shots fired incident in Milton. SWAT responded after initial reports indicated another person was with the suspect. SWAT teams found that person safe. After entering the apartment on Northside Drive, they found the suspect and arrested them. 
This investigation is ongoing. The Rock County Sheriff's Office is looking for this man this morning. They say he drove away from a traffic stop, injuring a Janesville police officer. The man is 31-year-old Eric Ship. An officer pulled him over Friday and tried to arrest him for an active warrant, but Ship drove off, hitting the officer. Anyone with information should call 608-756-3636. In Madison, police are investigating a road rage incident involving gunshots. Police were called to the American Parkway exit on Highway 151 yesterday. A driver reported that someone rolled down their window and fired multiple rounds at them. Luckily, the driver was not hurt and no one was to, uh, no damage was reported. Elijah Vu's mother and her partner will be back in court today. Christina Bauer and Jesse Vang are charged with child neglect. Neither are charged in the three-year-old's disappearance. <laughs> Right now, the reward for information leading to the boy's discovery is at $40,000. If you have any information about where he could be, call 844-267-6648. President Biden touted his infrastructure accomplishments in Milwaukee yesterday. The trip coincided with a $3 billion investment into cities like Milwaukee, specifically targeting communities who were broken up by the country's interstate construction. Biden also took jabs at former President Donald Trump and Wisconsin Republicans. Former President Trump, meantime, is facing six fewer charges in Georgia. Judge Scott McAfee of Fulton County threw out charges that accused former President Trump of pressuring public officers to violate their oaths as part of the effort to overturn the 2020 election. The case is still ongoing and Trump is still facing several charges that could result in jail time. The battle over a possible TikTok ban in the U.S. now will head to the Senate. It comes after the House passed an overwhelmingly bipartisan bill yesterday that would require the popular app to cut ties with its China-based parent company. TikTok says the bill threatens the constitutional rights of its more than 170 million users in the U.S. and could put American jobs at risk. A bipartisan bill could expand the history that your kids learn about in school. Right now, all K-12 through schools in the state are required to teach the history of certain groups. And currently, that does not include Hmong or Asian Americans. The Senate signed off on a bill to change that, though, sending it to the governor's desk. If and when Governor Evers signs the bill, Hmong and Asian American history will become part of your child's curriculum. Construction for the Dane County Jail Project will begin next month. Local officials here holding a ceremonial groundbreaking yesterday. It comes after the county signed a contract in February with Myron Construction for $161 million. And here's one final look at your forecast. Expect plenty of rain today, but we're not going to see as much rain for the rest of the week into the weekend. Sunny tomorrow, temperatures near 50, clouds on Saturday and Sunday. 50s on Saturday, but pretty windy. 30s on Sunday, still breezy, but not as windy as Saturday, but obviously it is going to be colder. So bundle up for any St. Patrick's Day festivities outside. 30s on Monday, 40s again for Tuesday, lower 50s for Wednesday and Thursday as clouds increase. And then as we get towards the end of the week, we'll see some rain. All right, Jacob, thank you very much. Stay with us, folks. We've got another news and weather update coming to you in 30 minutes.